Hello, my name is Tony Botting, and I'm a simulation specialist at Go Engineer. In this video, we'll talk about heat transfer convection coefficients you can use in SolidWorks simulation. Oftentimes, you are presented with a thermal design problem requiring input of the heat transfer coefficient, also known as the film coefficient for convection. For example, this computer chip assembly is being evaluated for steady state heat transfer from two sides and the bottom of the substrate to still air. The question is what to use. The tutorial example uses 25 watts per square meter degree Kelvin. We conducted a survey and compiled a table as shown here. These are average values of heat transfer or film coefficients. You can see the range is quite large. For example, free or natural convection of heat from a surface to air ranges from 5 to 25 watts per square meter degree Kelvin. However, forced convection of air, such as by a fan, ranges from 20 to 300 watts per square meter degree Kelvin. Also observe that liquids, especially during a phase change, show very large numbers. It is common to observe units in BTUs per hour, square foot, degree Fahrenheit, as well as watts per square meter degree Kelvin. This grouping here are the unit sets available in simulation. SolidWorks simulation is certainly handy because the input panel will convert units on the fly. Suppose you've been given a value in BTUs per second, inch squared degree F. You can input directly, then change the units to those which may be more familiar, like this. An important point to make is, for design performance testing, you may not need to know the convection coefficient exactly. If you stick with one value throughout the design iterations, you will gain insight into the performance difference when you change the design. For example, this particular chip heats up too much and there's no room on these two sides to locate a heat sink. So, you might place a heat sink on the top of the chip and evaluate the performance change of the assembly with different heat sink configurations. Here you can use the same convection coefficient, but change the number of fins on the heat sink to evaluate the performance change. Make sure to scale the legend identically in each case for comparison. In this video, we examined heat transfer coefficients in SolidWorks simulation.